Hello children. All right. So today, maybe you can guess this. Some of you are good at guessing this. We are going to paint an ox wagon. The Osebar. Um, okay, so we'll start with yellow. Let me just open all my colors. You do the same. Remember not to shake your colors. It's a bit difficult for me to paint because the camera is kind of in the way and I'm not completely sitting in front of my painting. All right, we'll start with yellow. I'm going to just take a light yellow to indicate uh, my ox wagon background of my ox wagon so I'm not going right to the bottom to fetch the pigment I'm just taking a bit of light yellow I want my ox wagon nice and big but not so that it flows off the page okay so we have the top of the canopy of the ox wagon over here and it comes down like this and in the front, we have the little place where one can look in. All right. And then comes the wooden part where the people actually sat on and slept in. Just to get an indication. Almost looks like a ship, actually. <laughs> Just to get an indication of what such an ox wagon looks like because this paint is very cheeky and it is not that easy to control right and then we're going to have two nice wheels just to see a little bit what we're doing the back wheel is a bit bigger i don't know if it was like that with all the wagons but with this wagon it is so it's a family ox wagon right okay and then it has a a wooden beam that uh, that the oxen are attached to in the front so it can be pulled All right, now I'm going to make the base of the ox wagon a bit of a darker yellow. And in that way, the wheels disappear, but we still know where they are. You can take a little bit more of the darker yellow now from the bottom. And you and I know that it is very difficult to control this watercolor medium. It's not even watercolor, it's wet on wet. And it's meant to be cheeky and it's, it's meant to be difficult and to flow. Right, so we've got the base of our ox wagon. And now I'm going to turn this base to orange. By now you know if you want orange, you're going to have to add what you add to the yellow. If you want orange, you're going to add red. And I wanted a good orange, so I'm going to fetch the red from the bottom of the jar. Not too wet, just squeeze away a bit of the water so that it doesn't run all that much. And every time we paint wet on wet, we can just hope for the best and really just enjoy the way the paint flows rather than wanting to get a little perfect painting. Yeah, if we want something perfect, then we can use colored pencils. Colored pencils allow us to achieve that perfection. If your personality is like that and you like things perfect, and you're probably going to prefer the colored pencils but this is just almost like there's just the feeling of an ox wagon 
I have to wash out my paintbrush before I dip into red again, right? We don't want to mix those colors. A little bit of red and That was a lot of fun. Okay, we've got that base of the ox wagon. Now I have to wash my paintbrush again. I am now going to try and really take out a lot of red from the bottom. So you mix that paint as little as possible. You reach right to the bottom and hope for the best. Hope to fetch that dark red. And I want that dark red for my, my wheels. I wonder, I wonder if I should make the wheels first or if I should wait for grass. You know what, I'm actually going to wait for the grass. Let us do the canopy in a light yellow. I'm gonna do that canopy in a light yellow. Then do the grass and then the wheels, yeah? Because otherwise it's going to be difficult to paint the grass in between. Okay, so here's our canopy. There we go. And remember that was made of animal skin stretched across a wooden frame and it was uh, pretty waterproof well let's make it water resistant maybe not quite proof you know those african thunderstorms they can uh, bring down a lot of rain okay. the part where it touches the bottom of the ox wagon we are going to do last you always do the part where it touches last to prevent too much cheekiness and good I'm going to leave it like that letting it dry just a wee bit and then we're going to make the grass the basis of the grass is going to also be yellow so those wheels are going to get lost. But we now know where those wheels belong because we know there's a wheel here and a wheel there. We're going to put them back later. And I'm just going to take my grass till about here. And then the rest at the top I'm going to make sky. So this is going to be yellow. And we don't touch the base of the ox wagon just yet. Remember, you're always pulling your paintbrush. And it's already wet. Your paper's already wet. So you're not going to try and take too much water. I see I always wipe my paintbrush. Otherwise, it just ends up running. And then it's modern art. So that's also all right. So if it does that, it's starting to get a bit dry. Let me just take a bit more yellow. Some places are darker yellow because nothing in the world is just one plain color except maybe if you buy a plastic bowl maybe then you can have just one plain color but then if the light falls on it it also changes the colors change right i'm hardly touching the base of the ox wagon because i don't want to lose that shape and it's so easy to lose it right Okay, so it's going to be my grass. I'm going to leave it for a little bit and then work on my sky. And you can have a sun, but I'm not going to have a sun because a sun is yellow orange. And if that then runs into the blue, it's going to make a brown. Yuck. So we don't want that. Okay, so I'm going to use blue. And you can use first a light blue and then wash it off, wipe off the... And then you can also have a little bit of a darker blue later. 
and taking the pigment from the bottom and it's quite you have to be quite quick when you paint this because you also don't want it to get completely dry i'm not gonna touch the canopy of my ox wagon just yet oh there it wanted to touch uh it's going to run too much and then my background's going to be green which is also fine one can have a, a slightly greenish sky uh, especially before it hailed uh, the sky can turn into weird and wonderful colors okay, okay that part now I'm coming close to my ox wagon I'm still not touching it Right. and here okay now I'm very close and I'll have to just get in there a little closer I'm going to try and hurry it so it touches only once I'm actually barely touching to be quite honest yeah they touched and it's fine then if it flows a little bit there. Right, because now we're not going to go back in the blue jar to fetch more blue paint. That's it, carefully, carefully. Ah, I have a feeling you're probably watching this video with a little bit more attention than when I paint in class. Oh, you are always so naughty when I demonstrate painting in class that I'm actually surprised that anybody actually learns anything. And now you've got no one to giggle with. Nah, my boys. And we are all inclined to fiddle a bit. Okay, let's try not to fiddle. Right, so now it looks a bit like Noah's Ark, doesn't it? Okay, now we're going to bring in the wheels i'm going to bring in the wheels before i actually add the blue for the grass to make it green because i'm making my wheels red and if i paint red on top of green remember red and green are complementary colors it's going to make it a yucky brown okay now i'm going to have to take away a lot of the water otherwise we're going to have these big flowing ox wagon wheels okay one smaller one in the front and go all right that's it and taking pigment from the bottom and then squeezing away all the water as much as possible and one wheel for the back, it's a bit of a bigger wheel. Ooh, that's a nice dark red. Somehow, I've got a very nice dark red. It's going to run that wheel, but don't worry about it. Just want to make this front wheel nice and dark too. And then, uh, the ox wagon had little bits of patterns from the wood. So let's think about that a little bit. Maybe we add these vertical lines and maybe I'll add a horizontal line too. Here and here, not too much. And then they had spokes, those ox wagon wheels. Um, so starting in the middle, you take the side of your paintbrush and pray and hope for the best. Small little spokes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that almost looks like the, not quite, like the Mercedes star. Let me make a few more if I can. Right, 
Okay, don't worry. That wheel is probably going to grow to an enormous size. Don't worry about that too much. Um, I'm also going to take away that red and then just work a bit of a shadow into the canopy. And then I want to wash away almost all the red and I do want to put in a bit of a pattern into the top, into the yellow. I think it will make it a little interesting if we bring in a pattern over here. It's not going to be easy, but let's just try and then hope for the best. Look, it's a little bit rounded following the shape of the shadowy part where you can look inside. Okay, I'm not going to fiddle with it anymore. I'm going to leave it as that. And then let's just have a little wooden beam here in front. Just slightly indicate it. All right. And then I'm not going to add a whole lot of grass, right? Because African grass can be yellow and I feel like it's busy enough already my painting and I don't want too much to flow into everything. Um, but I am going to use blue, take it from the bottom, squeeze out a lot of the water and then I'm going to just dash dash uh, some, some grass into to the ground. Not too much, just a little bit, that's it. And it looks a bit strange because the grass is just on either side, so I'm going to take the chance and wash my paintbrush. And because there's those ox wagon wheels, are, um, I should have had a tissue, you must have a tissue. Those ox, and ox wagon wheels are quite red, so it's not an orange anymore, so maybe I'll get away with uh, putting a bit of blue over it. Otherwise, it looks strange if the grass just grows on either side, doesn't it? And there's a lot of little grass seeds in the African grass, so you can just have a little bit of tiny some things in your painting um, so that things are not all big and chunky we call it the the yin of the painting the small little details so you can make little grassies here and there all right children good luck it's not easy we're just going to have fun and then you know as I know that this painting will probably look completely different by the time it's dried and it's finished flowing. What I do want to say is never leave your paintbrush in your water like that, remember? Um, so you wash your paintbrush out and if you ever do put a paintbrush in a painting jar, in a, in a glass jar, you put it the other way around, right? Right. 